Hi YouTube, I'm back. My hair is dead this time. So today I went and got bigger balls. I love them. Um, my cleaning routine never changed. It's still the same. And I'm now using mouthwash. I just got regular Listerine that I use. Um, yeah. Nothing really changed, just I have bigger balls like I wanted, so. And I can't work with these. I just got them at, like, an hour ago, probably less than that. Um, okay, listen. I told y'all I was going to talk about my best, my breast piercing. Hold on, let me put this on top for a minute. Okay, I told y'all I was going to talk about my breast piercing. So... five weeks now and they healed in like a week and a half well that's when they stop hurting and stop feeling them I don't even know if they there sometimes so um, I got them changed last week from the silver ball to color they're blue and pink and I'm not sure if I'm going to upload pictures of them but I might I'm not sure yet and I actually went swimming when I had them two weeks. Two weeks into me having them, I went swimming. And I thought it was going to get affected or something. I kept looking at them while I was in the water. But they didn't get affected. They was fine. And I just take baths. When I take baths, I make sure I scrub them. You know. But when I first got them, I did use alcohol. I put alcohol on it and clean them like that. And then got in the bathtub. But that's when I first got it. Like, I did that for like two weeks. And then after that, I just stopped doing it. And then I just started taking the bath. I take the bath every day. So I just clean them and scrub them every day. And that's it. It's really ain't too much I talk about with my peers because it's not a lot that I go through with them. Like, I have no problems with them or nothing. But, oh, wait, one time I did, um, one time I did, um, go to sleep at night, and I think I had them for, like, three weeks. I had went to sleep, and I had, like, a spaghetti scrap shirt like this, but it was green, and I didn't have no bra on. So, when I woke up, my breast was hanging out. And the screen was stuck in between my the nip my nipple and the bar thing. And I didn't have my glasses on and I didn't feel it nor did I see it. So when I got up and go to the bathroom and I came back in the room to um so I I tried to um move this like push it up like this. This is what I did. I pushed it up just like that. And it kinda ripped my breast. It hurt so bad I thought now it's gonna rip out of something. But it didn't. I, when I went back up there to get my tongue piercing, the man said that it was fine and it didn't look like it ripped or nothing. So that's good. So I just make sure I wear my bra at night. <laughs> like, if, especially when I have on me, I have on my bra at night. So I really ain't too much for me to talk about with them. But if you guys have any questions on my surface tongue piercing, or on my breast piercings, just comment and I will do another update or review about them. And I had my tongue piercing for a week now, just for one week, and it don't hurt at all. I eat more now because I don't, I know I'm learning how to chew with them, so I can eat regular now. And that's about it, you know, no problems, no nothing. So I will insert pictures of my my tongue piercing with the bigger balls, and I might insert pictures of my nipples. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Any questions or concerns, comments? Please subscribe to my channel. I will do more updates on my surface tongue piercing and my breast piercing. So okay, and I will do another video on my photo. I do these myself.
first time trial and this is what I got I will do I might do a YouTube video on them I'm not sure but okay bye YouTube it's one thing I forgot to tell y'all about my bed spaces they do tend to get dry inside and when they get dry and the balls start to move it hurts I do not know how to keep them moist or anything I'm not quite sure on how I keep them moist I'm still looking and researching that but my tattoo man said put lotion on them so that's what I've been doing but I'm still doing research on how to keep them moist because they do tend to get dry a lot and at the same time I still only have them for five weeks and they say it take a total of six weeks to heal so probably when the whole six weeks heal then they won't be dry no more but I will do an update on the dryness and tell y'all more about that.